Right, you lovely lot. We are back in the skip barber and we are at... <laughs> Why are we at Kota full track? This track is massive. Literally timed it. It takes... The first lap out I did, I timed the, me from the hairpin to the end of the lap. 23 seconds on that back straight. It is enormous for a skippy. Um, I get the feeling this is very much going to be like spa. Very difficult to run away and massive amount of slipstreams. It's going to be positioning yourself for the last lap if you are in a pack. It is um, going to be interesting. And to top it all off, curbs. Big yellow sausage curbs. Do not hit them. They ruin suspension. They ruin front wings. They ruin everything. There's some on the S's you'll see and there's one right here as well which you do not want to hit. Makes a good thumbnail though. You have to admit it does make a good thumbnail. Anyway, info tab for you. We are track usage of 44%. Uh, moderate usage, high usage has more grip, low usage has less grip. Track temp, a very cold and suspiciously cold 69 Fahrenheit degrees will be above my head. Considering this is meant to be in Texas, I thought it would be a bit warmer than that, to be brutally honest. But that's what I've dealt with. Um, so yeah, if it is very different in this uh, this week's Skippy track guide, then the race session will hopefully be like that. Because I use the UI, which I will show you in a moment. Did a few laps around here, because they are so long, these laps. They are ridiculous. Lap 8, a 227.5. Did a 227.7 uh, on the next lap, and I lost two tenths in the last sector. So, yeah, mid to high 27s for me. I'm sure there'll be a lot, uh, a few people around here. It's a big track, so expect big differences in times, because obviously if you're a tenth down on each corner, I think it's got like 24 corners, something stupid. A tenth down on each of them obviously mounts up to a lot of time. So, yeah, don't be too worried if you are a few seconds off pace. It's just the size of the circuit uh yeah above my head you should see two screens one will be uh my discord where the olap vlap telemetry and replay file and the setup that i use for this is the same setup that i use everywhere minus a few tweaks at zanville and uh wherever it is one that needs the extra fuel can't remember nurburgring no not nurburgring well, i can't remember it anyway i'll put it up on my screen if i do remember it but yeah it's basically the same setup that i use all the time in the skip barber and the other screen is how i get into these sessions so i try and use the ui as much as i can to try and get it as accurate tan to the actual race week which is week three uh season two 2022 there's a lot still a lot of twos in there i'm getting used to it um but yeah let's crack on with the guide right then circuit of the americas and this is at i don't know what speed it is because i record it slow and then speed it up but the, the main straight is long put it that way you're going to be there for a while um yeah white line across the track just for going up the hill we are breaking and we kind of turn into mid track and we want to kind of aim for the apex first gear for this give the curb a little cheeky tickle as you go past but do not run wide there is a horrible off track on that green astro turf down the hill now trying to accelerate through the gears as quickly as possible you can kind of go left a little bit try and open up this too much it doesn't gain you that much time but obviously it just minimizes speed off the tires Coming to this part now, we are aiming for this one. Try and get as far left on the first S as you can. And then it opens up this one with the grazer brakes. And then again, you want to brake again just before this left hander. And you do not want to let the car slide anywhere through this. You do not want to hear the tires screeching or anything like that. I'll put a little clip above of showing you what not to do around here. But yeah, in a nutshell, keep it as smooth as possible. Keep it in control. Avoid the sausage curbs. They will damage everything. Down to third gear for this one, once you get around here, it's kind of a very flowing section you need to get right, and if you get it on the wrong line, you are completely snookered. Bring it over to the left-hand side now, and when the line sort of is in a straight line, and you're pointing directly at it, break again and start swinging it in. Be nice and easy on uh, cutting this corner, because there is an off-track as well, but try and stay as far right as you can to really open up this one. You see I do give that curb a bit of a clout as I go past, but yeah, again, don't run wide. Green AstroTurf equals off-track. Down the hill, there's a horrible blind kink there. That's going to take some practice to get used to. Again, I think there's a slowdown and an off track there, so be mindful of that one. And we are braking for the awkward hairpin here. So just after this white line, just probably the rear of the car past it. Brake, use the curb, all the way in a straight line. First gear. This is where triples help because otherwise you can't actually see the apex of the corner, which is really annoying. But make sure you get a good, good exit because this is the 22 or 23 second long straight. So go away, put a brick on your throttle, go make a cup of tea, go have a wee, go whatever, and then you'll still come back and you'll still be going. It is stupidly long. Slipstream's going to be massive down here. There's no point in defending into this corner here. But if you were, you're braking at the 100 meter board just before it. Nice and heavy. It's downhill braking zone, so be careful. You can see I come away from the curb. First gear, loads of curb. You can get away with it. Just be mindful of the exit because, again, AstroTurf equals off track. Bring it up the gears now. You can nip into third gear if you get a good enough exit out there just quickly. But as we come over to the right, uh, left-hand side of the track, sorry, about this point, 
nothing really here uh, break very gradually and try and get to the apex of this corner now don't get on throttle too early here because it just pushes you really far out wise you want to keep mid to right track and then make sure you get a good exit on this bit i find this bit is a little bit quicker to be full throttle through this section rather than taking a wide and then trying to cut back and make the corner a bit longer as you pass this little apex of the corner as you just come up to it you're braking in a straight ish line and then down into first gear again triples will help here to spot the apex of this one loads of curve but i'm on throttle as early as i can because we are full throttle for a fair distance to be honest this triple or quadruple apex right hand or whatever you want to call it it goes on for about a year but at this point you want to start aiming for it now i don't worry about this first bit here hitting the curb on this one i do worry about hitting this second one coming up here you can see we're aiming for it now try and stay full throttle as much as you can and try and stay as close to the curb without scrubbing off too much speed through the tires you see i'm, I'm near the curb but i'm not on it and i'm going to come try and come back for this little elbow here that i try and hit but again don't worry about it if you don't this braking zone is ridiculous so here it is no idea where i'm braking down to third gear take more curb than you think you can around here because it helps you with running wide again you run wide here it's an off track and then further out is a slowdown as well so real real pain in the rear white line across the circuit just before it i found before i was braking at it but then the grip on this chest session wasn't there so before the white line again loads of curb you can actually take a bit more than you think and as always, green astro turf means off track, so just be mindful of the exit. And the line does appear very, very quickly. There it was. There it goes. Sorry. And yeah, it done and dusted. So no idea why we've got all this massive straight in front of us. You can see how long it is. So yeah, slipstream down the back straight will be a thing. Slipstream down this main straight will be a thing. Yeah, I I'm I'm kind of looking forward to it. I don't like Kota, but I do like Kota sometimes. It's going to be awkward to run away with these two massive straights. But that's us cross line in the two twenty seven five two three. I think I probably could go a little bit quicker, um, but yeah, I wanted to show a decently, uh, you know, semi-decent lap for you. As as my motto says, to finish first, first you have to finish. That wasn't my motto. I nicked it off someone else. Anyway, I am waffling, so uh, I'm going to disappear. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that lovely YouTube stuff. The setup will be in my Discord if you do want it. It's the race. 2022.sto just put that in your skippy file there is a readme file in there just so you can help out and know where it exactly goes thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one